He cannot see me, but I can see him. I am not suspicious. I am not suspicious. I am not suspicious. Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Judgment. Ah. So, last time we dealt with um, Mafuyu almost getting kidnapped, and I'm trying to be honest. I it's been a, it's been a little while since I last recorded, so I don't ex remember exactly what we're doing. <laughs> I know that we're getting closer and closer to unraveling the mystery of the mole and what they have to do with that pharmaceutical company, but I can't remember what I was doing at the moment. I think I just finished like the date thing with like the stalker and I told Sana that we couldn't be boyfriend and girlfriend because now the thing that with Mafuyu has happened, I just can't. Okay, yeah, I'm going back to my office. Not sure if there is anything else that I was going to do. I'm going to go outside so I can look at my official map here. There's some case files and things that I could do. I don't know how long those are going to take. And I promise you guys I would do more of like main mission stuff. So I'm going to do more main mission stuff for a little bit. Oh, am I just going to bed? Is that all I'm doing? Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm gonna go do some of these side quests real quick. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna do some of these side quests real quick. Um, it was, we'll just see what they are. Uh, so, give me a second. I'll be right back. Yagami-san. All oh, right, the fortune teller lady. You're right. We did that by accident. I remember. Uh, Yagami-san, a moment of your time, if you would. Hmm. Uh, what's going on, Amane-san? Do you remember Megrosan? I haven't... I, I've seen yet another catastrophe in his fate. You mean that guy who's pretty much losing his mind because you keep predicting disasters for him? I wonder why bad things are happening to him! What's going on with him now? It was not long after you assisted him last time. I was struck by yet another vision. And within, I beheld a calamity of white intertwining with his calamity of black. Black and white. So there are two colors this time. My god, it's Monokuma! No, back, Monokuma, back! Perhaps we will be mauled by a panda or something to that effect. Hmm. Mauled by a panda? I can never tell if this lady's serious or not. Uh, I am I am definitely I am definitely on the side of yeah, she kinda cray cray. She's hot, but you know, kinda cray cray. Hmm, correct. The sign of this, uh, calamity was still lingering in the air when I saw him earlier on Tenkaichi Street. Yagami-san. I implore you to help this man. Can you protect him from this inevitable fate? What should I do? Should I accept? <laughs> I'll help the poor girl out. Yeah. Well, as long as we're talking business, sure. 1,500 yen, same as last time. Yes, that's quite agreeable. Thank you in advance. Uh, you saw Megaro on uh, Tenkaichi Street? Huh. I guess I'll start there. Well, I guess we're gonna do that. Oh my god, it's that guy again. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna just get this out of the way right now. Yagami-san. Oh, Yagami-san. Huh? What happened to your hat, Tokunaga-san? Ugh. It flew away again, actually. Mm -hmm. But aren't you holding it? Nope. This one isn't mine. Wait, what? Mine is over there. So that guy has huh? it. I think you better fill me in. So, my hat was swept away by the breeze, like always. But, as it happens, someone else lost their hat in that breeze too 
But he seems to have retrieved mine by mistake. What the hell? I'm at a loss. Couldn't you just, you know, ask him to trade? Mm. It's not something you just ask a guy to do, Yakimi-san. Besides, he's scary looking. Well, I'm sure he could take it the wrong way if you went up and asked about a hat. Right? Worst case scenario, a guy like that might even punch me. So, Yakimi-san, I need your help on this one. Please, get my hat back! <sighs> if that's how it's gotta be. Gone with the gale. This is a pretty delicate matter, so I should approach him when nobody else is around. Maybe I... Man, even I don't feel comfortable going up and asking him. Uh, how do I even approach this? Am I tailing this guy until he's alone or something? Yup, that's what I'm doing, I figured. Okay. Here we go! Large Yakuza? How do you know he's a Yakuza? You can't just, like, say that he's a Yakuza because, you know, he looks like one. He cannot see me, but I can see him. I am not suspicious. I am not suspicious. I am not suspicious. Not suspicious. I'm checking this car. Yeah, these lights are very off. This There must be something wrong with this car. The lights aren't on. Yeah. That totally lights. I I have a I have a light fetish. And these lights not being on is turning me off right now. <laughs> oh my god, that was I didn't even mean to make that joke. That was perfect. I am hidden. Oh, there's another actual hiding spot. gonna okay I'll just keep an eye on the man with the wig sorry buddy didn't mean to bother you oh my god that went up super fast like seriously that was like super fast where is he going left the right he is going to the right out of my way, bicycle! Um, oh, my light fetish strikes again! The, the sparkly, twinkling lights, I love them! What is he looking at? Oh my god, no wonder. Sign with a handsome host? Could it be that he wants hair like that? That's what I think. Um, um, I, I feel uncomfortable. Ah, just, you walked into me, sir! Ah, ah, okay. We're good here. Everything's good. Look, these lights are also off. Therefore, I am turned off. Those other lights were, like, rotating between being on and off. Therefore, my interest in them kept changing from moment to moment. I apparently have a light fetish now. This game has done this to me. Thank you, you, um... <laughs> I almost said Yakuza. Thank you, um... Thank you, Judgment. I needed this. I needed a light fetish. You know? See? Look! He must have a light fetish, too! Look at all the lights! Hmm? Could it be that he wants to be a host? It also could be that he's gay and, you know, he wants to go see a host. Ah. Uh, now that I think about it, his hair uh, does seem to be like that of a host. <sighs> but there's a lot wrong with it. Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm sorry. I get what the game is saying. It's kind of fat shaming and that's horrible and... Yeah, he's a big guy and typically in Japan, only like skinny, beautiful bishoujo men can be hosts. I get it, but still, that's a horrible thing. That crushes that man's dreams. Man, I feel bad for him. He just... He just wants to be a host. Sorry! 
Why did you look right in my direction? I am not even here. There's no- Oh my god, the lights! Yes! Hello, lights! Oh, hello, beautiful. Hello. Where did he go? Oh shit! I got distracted by my light fetish! Fuck! There he is, I found him. Am I underneath a light? I'm underneath a light! Yes! This is all I've ever wanted and dreamed in my life. I see where he's going. Sorry, lady! I am very so- Oh, she has nice legs. Oh, no! Found him! What do you want? Stop looking in there. We go. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I could hide there. I don't know how I knew that, but I just had a feeling. Do not get in the taxi. Do not get in the taxi. Got it. Okay, here we go. It is done. Standing under the light pole, my fetish is complete. Oh no! Uh, maybe this is my chance. I'm on it! You fucking hat! Quote unquote, get back here! There we go! <laughs> Why? Why pine cones? They're not pine cones. I don't know why I thought that. Oh yeah! People! Whoa! Hello, sir! Hey! I remember little Chinatown! Everyone here got caught up in a fire in the last game, and they may or may not be dead. We didn't really find that out. That was the wrong button. Shit! No! The hat is escaping! Get back here, hat! I know you're not really a hat, but I'm not gonna crush your dreams the way y'all can be crushed the, the fat host dreams! I am not a dream crusher! I think. I hope not. I am also a fat man, so you know what? Guess what? As a large man, you know what I say? Anyone can be a host as long as you have enough money. Wow, that sounds even worse. Oh, oh, there we go. I did it. Get back here! Got it. Captured the hat? All right, nabbed it. Oi. Hey, you! That's mine! Actually, uh, there's been a misunderstanding. Shut up! I can't even walk out the door without that! Give it back, you son of a bitch! Not a wise choice. Nope, not a wise choice. Oh, I was in the right style all along. Oopsie. That- No! I pushed it the wrong button. Oh, bam! Oh, that is horrible for- I am doing horrible. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah! In your face! Stay on the ground! Or don't. That also works for me. Oh, no! I'm fine. I am not fine. Ow, get up, Yagami! Okay, oh, why are you staggering? You should be good. Oh! Oh, Jesus! That worked. Oh, no, I have I have literally impaled him. Praise! Praise Bethesda! <laughs> Shit! Just give it back, man. It's important to me. I'm trying to tell you, there's been a misunderstanding. Nani? What do you mean? This is your wig. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? 
But when someone managed to pick up two wigs at the same time and you grab the wrong one. I see. Then. You're like me then? No, I'm working for. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't you say so, bro? You're one of us! Huh? Huh? No, I have hair. Mm. You even rock a black wig and a blonde wig on different days? <laughs> <laughs> you got mad style, bro. <sighs> Can we trade wigs or not? Ooh. Oh, yeah, sure thing, my brother of the bald. <laughs> the of the bald! <laughs> See you around! Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> my brother of the bald. Oh, bald brothers. Uh, what matters is that I got it back, so whatever. Wow, I saw the whole thing. You're a beast, but... <laughs> I didn't know you wore a hat, too. No, I told you, I don't. It's pretty lame to hide it, man. <laughs> you can trick people all you want, but the sun and moon see all. God damn it. Hmm. I don't like where this is going. Oh, yeah, did I mention? I got some good news to share. Hmm? And what's that? From a barren wasteland, the hope of new life has been given breath. Wait, you mean... Exactly. God, what? A single alfalfa hair, dude? Exactly. It's only one now, but my efforts seem to be paying off. I want to rip it out. So bad. I, I'm sorry. This is my instinct. I am going bald as well. You've, you've seen me in videos by now. You know that I got a lot, like my hair is migrating down to, you know, like it's migrating down to like my beard. So yeah. <laughs> Look at it, man. It's playing with the breeze. Oh, it's my baby. Whoa. Uh, congratulations. Having something to protect makes a man stronger. And I have to protect this no matter what. Uh, Tokunaga-san sure seems happy. Yagami-san, thank you. I'll be counting on your continued support. Hey, money! Thank you. <laughs> So long. The breeze is calling out to me. That's not good. Aren't you going to put your wig on? That is one strange dude. I really hope that we are done with him. Oh boy. Okay. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? There's another case file literally right here. Or, or is that the same one from before? Alright. Gotta find Meguro. Uh-huh. No! I was so hmm. close. Up, up, I found him. Hey. There he is. Yes! Good thing we psychoanalyze everyone that we've never met before so we know exactly what they look like. That's Maguro-san. Looks like he's had one too many. Is there a cat? Oh, no! I didn't hear a cat, so... I am assuming my hunt for cats will be later. Alrighty, another tailing event. Oh joy, this is, you know, exactly what I wanted in my life. Ooh. Wait, I am wearing a black coat with a white shirt. Oh no, he's gonna think I am the problem. Which, uh, t technically not incorrect. Okay, where did he go? He went this way. I think. I can't see him. I don't know where he is. Oh. I see him now. Ha, huh, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm, I'm dazzled by the, the lights. Oh my god, yes. Twinkle for me. Twinkle, little lights, twinkle. Oh, I, 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 I. The joke has become the reality. I'm buying a drink! Fuck off, I'm buying it. Whatever that kind of water is. I don't know. Is that water or is that tea? I can't tell. Do do do. Huh? 
I, I, so apparently, when I'm up against walls and you're drunk, I'm invisible. That's just how. That's how lights work. That's how walls work. Apparently, that is not how walls work, but that is apparently how walls work. Black and white. Is that it? The color of their clothing. Could it be? Ooh, black, white. Please have mercy. Huh? Huh? What's with this fool? Is it drunk? <laughs> that is exactly what he sounds like. You cannot convince me otherwise. I'm gonna keep run I can't see him when all the people's is. <clears throat> he's way the hell back there. Oh, now he's running that way. This is actually fun because now he's actually on the move and I actually feel like, you know, I'm doing something. Oh, shitaki. Around the corner, around the corner! Oh, thank God. My God. Why? Why are you going in there? What? No, stop! Do not go in there! Place is off limits ever since the last game. For reasons I cannot say because of spoilers. I don't damn you. Damn you. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Did he go down? Did he go up? Oh. He went down. I see him now. I did see him. He's down that way. Okay. Asshole! Stop being unpredictable! This is the most annoying tale I've ever done. <laughs> what? What now? Dogs with black and white on them. Black and white dogs? Could it be? It's the woman's fault! Puppies! I can't take this anymore! Shit, again? Can I be over on that hiding spot with all the flashing lights? Ah. Ah. No, 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 no. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh, no, no, he's not going around the corner. I thought he was. Okay. I see him. He's way up over there. Okay, I'm going now. Where are you? No. Stop this. Shit. I'm fine. The bicycles, they're, they are to blame. Sorry, didn't mean to break the bicycles. Oh, I feel better now. Oh, yeah, the, all the flashing lights. Is, the flashing lights make me feel better about myself. Yeah, they, they really reassure me. They assure me that even though things can seem dark at times, at other times they can shine brightly and... And hello, ladies. And oh, I am hit. Hide, 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 hide. I would have sex with a light bulb. There, I said it. The fetish has been complete. We can drop it now. How would I have sex with a light bulb? That is the question that I and probably many of you are asking. I don't have an answer. I just don't. Oh, fuck a duck. I, I couldn't see him on all the people's this, and it said he wasn't visible anymore, so I thought, like, he was around the corner or something. God, he is so hard to make out. He's so normal. Stop being so normal, you normie. I want to follow you, but you make it hard because it's hard to tell who you are. There you are. No, 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 no. Hide. 
Why? Why this side? Why this side? I don't know where he is. I, d I don't know where he is. Is that him? Oh, he's that way? Ah, okay. I did it. I did it. Oh my god, he has the light fetish too. Okay, this explains a lot of things. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, isn't this where... Oh, it's where she is. Meguro-san, what are you doing here? This is all your fault! I can't even work anymore because of you! What are you talking about? I'm a zookeeper, you know! I take care of pandas! Ah, oh, I didn't expect to be right about the panda, but I'll take it. Ever since you saw that little calamity, I can't even look at my pandas! Hell, I can hardly walk down the street! There's lights everywhere, and I think there's a man with a light fetish chasing me! I don't know, he's there one second, and another second he's gone, and I, th and I hear whispers from the lights! I requested to be given a different enclosure, and you know what they gave me? Zebras! Fucking zebras! It's inevitable. I'm afraid my prophecies are absolute, Mikuro-san. Destiny is immutable. Exactly. Everything happens exactly as you predicted, right? That means your prophecies are the cause! It's all your fault! Unbelievable. Well, that is patently false. All I'm doing is simply glimpsing into an inevitable future. Soto! You're wrong! No, Miguro-san. And I can sense your calamity drawing near. I'd advise caution now. Shut up! No! Ah! What are you doing? It's simple. I'm ending the source of my calamities! Stop! Yeah. Shit! A black jacket and a white shirt! You too! Oh, yeah, huh. Uh, I noticed that, but he didn't. God damn it! I'll kill you both! Oh, good, we'll send you to prison! Oh my god, and he'll be in black and white stripes! <laughs> Don't tell me I'm the black and white calamity! Out of the way! Bring it, bitch. You gonna have some troubles. You don't even block! Dude! Dude, I'm sorry for you! Yeah, I just I didn't even have to do anything. I'm I'm well I'm not sorry, but you know. I'm I'm feeling things. Black and white like the police car. Fuck! Oh, hey! Police cars are black and white. Certainly. I think that may be the answer. Fate works in mysterious ways, doesn't it? Also, black and white stripes for prison, you know? He brought it upon himself. Oh, oh that's her. Uh, sorry, that's him. He brought it upon himself, yet her prophecy was spot on. Would you say you've become a believer, Yagami-san? Hmm, I don't know if I'd go that far. After all, you couldn't predict that you were going to be attacked, right? Or maybe you can sense everyone's calamities but your own. Perhaps. As mysterious as fate may be, it also has a dark sense of humor. Ah oh, well, as long as you don't predict the apocalypse of humanity, I guess I'll look forward to the next paying calamity. Hello. And with that, here is your fee. Oh, thank you. Ah, right, here's to averting more disasters together. Hooray! Alright, now that I have taken care of those side quests... Are there any more to do? I don't see any. Part of the reason I wanted to do them was to get more SP, like more skill points to buy stuff. Sorry, car. Sorry, not sorry. There's one last case down here. That I think that I'll just take care of real quick. 
Yo, what up, Catman? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Please leave me alone! Why? Why can't we be together? Oh my god, he looks like the same weirdo who was, um, like the stalker in the other one. What's that supposed to mean? I told you, I'm not interested. Don't make me call the police. Soto. Why aren't you interested? You just ain't seen me for who I am. I mean, I'm just tugging on your arm, aggressively forcing you to do things I want. What's wrong with that? Hey. I think she's being pretty clear, man. Back off. Eto. Huh? Who are you? What's she to you? All to me? Uh... He's my boyfriend! Eh? Huh? I'm what now? Hey, so... And as my boyfriend, you aren't going to tolerate a stalker, right? Hmm? Stalker? No way! How could I have missed that you got a boyfriend? Well, better keep up the charade. Hey. You heard her. You mess with her, you mess with me. So I'd get lost if I were you. Mess with the bull, you get the spin. <laughs> and he's really strong, so you don't even think about it. I get it. He's why you won't love me. Thank you so much. This is going to end very poorly for me. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for playing along. <laughs> I'm just glad it didn't come to blows. I kind of wanted it to. I wanted to beat the shit out of him. I'm Nanami Matsuoka. I work in an office nearby. It's me. I'm Yagami, a local detective. I think they, they, they definitely should have used um, a different line. Like, because in the English version, like, you know, like, the actors don't know. They just record, like, these small little things, like, it's me. Like, and that's for when he, like, answers the phone. It definitely should have been, like, I'm Yagami, or something like that. I'm Yagami, a local detective. So that guy's been stalking you? Certainly. Yeah, and he's been getting more and more persistent. I'm at my wit's end. <sighs> His name's Takeda. He's been following me off and on for about a year. Wow. Sorry you've had to deal with that. That's... It's been kind of a nightmare. Just lately, he even figured out where I live. Nah. Well, that's pretty terrifying. Uh, hope you've taken some precautions. Oh, Yagami-san. Uh, I just hope he's not going to bother you now that he thinks you're my right. I uh, think you're his rival. <laughs> uh, I'll be fine. On the other hand, maybe it'll make him give up. Hmm. I kind of doubt it. Yagami-san. Don't let him hurt you, Yagami-san. I'd hate to see you get stabbed or something. I would also hate that. I'll be careful, but like, no, is this a thing? Is this a thing I should be worried about? Should I buy a gun? I can do that. Uh, you said you were a detective, right, Yagami? Is a stalker something I could consult you about? Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, I'm not picky about my jobs. Of course. Great. Can I get your contact info then? Wow, did I just get another girlfriend? Oh, wow, she has a smartphone. Mm -hmm. A smartwatch, too. Isn't that a smartwatch? Of course. Yeah, they're pretty popular now, huh? I can watch videos and even send messages on it. Wow. All that from a tiny little screen on your wrist. <laughs> I get one myself if I could afford to splurge. <laughs> yeah, I'm still figuring it out myself. Anyway, I'll be in touch. Cool. Well, that was easy. Okay. I received a new message. Did I? Is that a thing I did? Oh. Okay, so this is from Sana. Yagami-san, listen to this. It seems Kabata-san had a change of heart. I was just notified that he sent my agency an apology letter. Huh, I never saw that coming. That's good. Yes, but the manager still won't let up. He says I need to be more careful from now on. Have you figured out our response to him? Uh, figured out your response to him, sorry. Yeah, thanks to you. After what happened, my mind is all made up. Love is a powerful force that does more than drive my music. It reflects the way I live, and I won't hide that for anyone. Not for my bosses, not even for my fans. Otherwise, otherwise my songs would lose their meaning. I understand. Do you be aware that your manager not see eye to eye with you, though? Yes, 
That's why I plan to negotiate with him, as you mentioned before. Okay, cool. With my newly completed song, that is. Oh, smart girl! Ah, so it's ready at last. Yep. Then I'll be cheering you on. I'm sure you'll manage to persuade him. Oh. Thank you. I'll do my best. Hooray, you're very welcome. Okay, now we're... Now! Now, finally. We're going hmm? back to the... There's something up there. What the fuck? Is that a person? Kind of hard to tell from down here. Uh, time to let the pigeon spread its wings. Wait, no, no, not this again! I, I don't know how to control... Are you a fucking ninja? You're a fucking ninja! Oh, it's a strong wind. I knew that was a person. Of course it's a person! But why is he dressed up like a ninja? Oro? Oro? So, you have discovered me at last! I am in pain. Man, that guy just ate shit. Maybe I should check on him. Dude, I wasn't planning for this, but I guess it happened. Ninja boy, what up? How impressive. For no one has seen past my chameleon camouflage and lived to tell the tale. Nin, nin. Also, forgive my rudeness. I am also known as Ryan Acosta, the number one ninja beneath the rising sun. Believe it! No! Why? This is so bad! This is so bad! Ryan Acosta. Allow me to ask thy name. Yagami? Then I shall call you Master Yagami. Fitting title for a man of such high caliber. However, this will not happen a uh, 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 next time. Believe it. And now I take my leave. Farewell. He's Naruto running. He has to be Naruto running. What the hell was that? That was. I think it's an American thinking that he wants to be a ninja, so that's what he's doing. It's not a good idea, but it is a funny idea. Alrighty, I'm gonna go back to the office, I'll meet you guys there, and, um, we will actually move on with the actual story, because we got time left to do that. Rest up, indeed. A new dawn has happened! Oh, and more skill points. I'm getting a lot more. Yeah. Gotta get over to Genda's office. Okay. I'm meeting Hoshino. So for any of you who, uh, I, I may or may not have mentioned this, I don't remember, but um, while I was doing editing, I figured out why the voice of Hoshino um, seems so familiar to me, and I finally figured it out. He's the same voice as the guy who voices Claude from uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. So yeah, like I was just like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, hold on, I gotta fight these guys. So yeah, like, I'm I'm definitely wanting to do a lot more of actual story stuff in, like, these next few episodes. Oh, I, I got a message on my phone. So, I'm sorry we're going to be seeing what this is all about. Oh, Sana again. Okay. So I finally talked to my manager. And how'd it go? Well, as you can guess, he wasn't too thrilled at first. But then I showed him my new song, and wow, he fell in love with it instantly. Like he was totally floored. Nice. And you know what else he said? It would be a shame if the no dating policy was going to stifle my creativity. So he told me he'd negotiate with the president of the company. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's incredible. Here's hoping everything goes smoothly. I'm being very just friend-like. Thank you. I'll do everything on my part. I'm being just friends with her because I'm, you know, like, Mafuyu is definitely number one girl at this point. What up, Kaito? Talk. Kaito-san, you're here early. Early bird nabs the murderer, I yeah. I can't. Hoshino-kun dug up some dirt on Hashki. Okay, that's good. 
I heard the Kyore clan attacked Mafia last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She seemed... happy. Probably because you came to the rescue. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. And thank you. What up, Hoshino? What you got for me, buddy? Yagami-san. Is Genda-sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway, back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this, too. All right, what's up? Toru Hashiki, former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Kamarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. Mm -hmm. It took that long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Oh. Doesn't sound quite as premeditated as Kajihira was seeming, uh, was making it seem. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However, quite a few people saw Hashki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. Oh! And that's all we know about the culprit. The mole! A black raincoat. Pretty sure that's as the mole. As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well... That's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. This is great for now. Yeah. Kajihira claimed Hashki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? If you ask me, whoever killed Hoshki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hoshki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Yeah. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean, that's just another day in Kamurocho, right? Yeah, that True makes sense. Enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? Oh, yeah. It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys that good totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? Not sure I do, actually. I admit it would make sense. But we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but, uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. <laughs> Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meeting at the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure. Let's do it. Alrighty. All right, so where, where are we going? I don't know where we're going. No one has mentioned where we're going. Let's roll, talk. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's do that, Kaito. I love Kaito. Kaito's awesome. Looks like we got some company. Who are they? Mm-hmm. Like, out in the open like this, too. Hold on. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Ha! Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? <laughs> Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Well, technically you are, aren't you? Either way, doesn't look like they want to talk it over. Let's do it! Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. 
Ah. I'm refreshing myself on all the buttons. Is yes, that's what I wanted. The massive spin. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That guy went flying. Oh, that looked painful. That probably was painful. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. You going down, son. Well, bam Oh, that was awesome. I still love doing that. There we go. Come on. I ain't afraid of you! Yeah! Oh, I missed. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Oh, yeah! That was fun. That was fun, guys. Come on, Doc. Let's get out of here. Good plan. Right. Where am I going? Oh, right. Lamont. Sorry, oh, sorry. I am running into everything. Down to the stairs. I can go in here? I didn't know I could go in here and I just completely... I didn't know I could go in here. I think I wasn't supposed to. Oh god. I feel like I glitched it. Kaito, why? You don't have to follow exactly where I go. Come on, let's go gambling. Do they have blackjack? I love blackjack. You guys know I love blackjack. More blackjack, please. I don't... Oh, R1. Okay. Let's see. Glad it tells me Got which it. one, which key it is. Because I didn't remember. All we gotta do now is meet up with Ayabe's boy. Who is that? Any idea what he looks like? Nope. Bet he'll talk to us first, though. Let's hope so. Well, time to start looking. I, I, I want, I want Gamble. Give Gamble, please. Blackjack me. Blackjack me. Blackjack me. Blackjack me. We're doing it. How many? I don't know how many coins I have. All right, we are gonna play a hundred. We're only gonna do one round. It's That's fine. Nice. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. I'll let you know if I win. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that could ruin everything. I'll take the insurance. Hit me. Oh yeah, we'll just stay there. I'll stand. Oh, see you got me. Good thing I took that insurance. Oh my god, yes! Okay, we're just gonna stay at this. We're just gonna stay here. Why would I double down? I'm at 20. Oh, I can split it, though. Uh, no, we'll just stand. I'll stand. A draw! Fuck me. Yeah, Yay! I won! Okay. Well, double down. down! No! I was doing so good! Hit me. Damn it, no! Oh, you got me. But the dealer also lost, so shouldn't I not lose? Damn it, I, uh, I ran out of chips! I have a lot of money. I'm gonna go buy more chips. Unless maybe the cutscene will happen now. Maybe, maybe not. Where's Kaito? Kaito? Hello, sir. I would like to purchase chips, yes! I gotta, uh, f I gotta feed my gambling habit. 
I don't need money for anything in this game. <laughs> God damn it! I have 3,000 chips, but you know what? I'm gonna do that in my off time, because I'll keep gambling. Oh, no, no, it wasn't you. I thought maybe it was that guy. Hello, sir? Yes, I miss it. Can I get to a drink? They're all free. All of them? I will have all of your drinks. Good stuff. Back to it. I am super drunk now. Arigatouzaimashita. I am super inebriated. Um... Maybe you? Are you the dude? Find Ayabe's replacement. How am I supposed to do that? That guy is not doing it. Maybe it's this lady? Um, excuse me, sir. Hmm? Oh, I think it is her. Are you talking to me? Sit. Seat next to me. Hurry. Hmm? Okay. Yeah, I'm on it, lady. Do I know you, or...? This is no time for jokes. I'm not? Can you please...? Now, are you okay doing this here? Or would you rather go somewhere a little quieter? What? Well, c can we slow down for a second? No, we can't. Let's get this over with. Yeah, but doing it right here... <laughs> He's... Uh, sorry? Alright, listen. You're very pretty, and you clearly know what you're about, but... I'm ah! more of a take it slow kind of I love player. you, Yagami! I don't like to rush into these things. Yagami-kun, can you seriously not tell it's me? I know it's her. Wait, uh, who? What the heck? Mafuyu? Yeah, I knew it was- I hate to break it to you, but when a woman comes on that strong, she's not after what you think she is. Yeah, I mean, like, here's the thing is that- because of her voice, I knew it was her, but at the same time, I was also kind of thinking, my brain literally went to like, okay, she's all like, yo, the actress who plays her has also played other characters in this game, but either way. Right. Uh, anyway, what are you doing here? I'm here on behalf of Ayabe. Oh! Wait, but really? Why did Ayabe send you? He gave me a call this morning out of the blue. Said he needed me to help you in his stead. But he works for the police. Here's the investigation report on Hoshki's murder. This is what you want, right? You took it from the prosecutor's office? Isn't that, you know, problematic? Hence the disguise. Think it's okay to hand it over here? Probably not. I'm sorry I had to pause just to comment. You took your wig off and wig and glasses off in front of everyone. You really should have, just should have showed like a little bit, but I get it. It was for the audience, but still. This is really intense. It is. All right, try to stay calm. It's okay. Think of it as a thank you for saving me yesterday. She is very pretty. One more thing regarding Prosecutor Izumita. Hmm? They're planning to arrest you under suspicion of murdering Shintani Sensei. I suggest you figure something out quick. Okay. We'll do. Thanks. Oh. Bye then. They are definitely hooking up. This is a thing I want to have happen no matter what. Who was that? She was smoking. That was Ayabe's replacement. Oh, he's not huh? going to mention. What do we got here? Hmm. I like it. I'll talk to Kaito in a second. I, I um, I want to. I unlocked a new skill. I did. Oh my god! I need so much more to get like max. I'm looking for like max attack, but I don't have the ferocity of the tiger. What's the ferocity of the tiger? I feel like that's a thing. Oh right! I need this. Okay. Okay. So that and then I can unlock. The max attack boost. Wait. Why have I not gotten this? This seems like super important. I know I just wasted like all my skill points on that, but I'm not planning to get all the skill points by the end of the game. This is the investigation report. 
from Hoshki's murder. Mafuyu stole it from the prosecutor's office. Why would you tell him? Mafuyu The less people know, the better! Are you saying that woman was her? Yes! Yeah, I just made the same mistake. Anyway, dude. You should check this stuff out, Tom. Well, then, then let me read it. Why, why would we have to go through that? This is Hashiki's resume. Looks like he was pretty well educated. They brought him on as vice director four years ago. Meaning, he was already with the ADDC when you were busting your ass defending Okubo. Seems like he and Kido were responsible for deciding how much money to give each project. Hashiki had more influence than I realized. Hmm. And that's why Kijihara lured him over to his side. Huh. This here is a map of the crime scene. Hashki was found lying here. An hour before that, he was seen drinking in a cabaret. This one. Place called the Queen Rouge. Hmm. They charge an arm and a leg, but hell if they don't make bank off it. Was Hashiki drinking alone while he was there? Nah, looks like one of his colleagues is with him. Wait, it was that guy, Shono. Really? So the two of them came all the way from the center just to grab a few drinks. The question is, why? Beats me. Shono's the lead researcher of AD9. He seems to report to Kido. After they left the club, Shono grabbed a cab by himself. He claims he went back to the center and had a chat with Kido. The taxi company's records back that up. Meaning Shono has an alibi. Kido too. Yep. As for Hashki, he had an argument with a man in a black raincoat. Then they found him on the ground. Shit beat out of him. Three weeks later, he was dead. That's horrible. The cause of death was... Cerebral contusion due to blunt trauma. Yep. The culprit hit him 14, maybe 15 times. No fingerprints, so he must have been wearing gloves. All right. I think we understand how it all went down. Yep. So, what's our next move? I want to take a little field trip. See for ourselves where they found Hashiki. The Queen Rouge is right near there, too. All righty. Let's hit it. Indeed. Let us go. Oh, why am I stopping? Oh, right, I'm drunk. I forgot I drank a lot. I had all the free drinks. Some of those weren't even alcoholic, according to what they said. But, you know, I'm still super drunk, but I'm doing okay. I am not running over everything. I got dull aluminum. I don't know what I need that for, but I'm sure I'll need it for something. Oh, that's real close to where I was before. Oh. Uh, all right, time to teleport there. Let's go, future Brandon, teleport us. Hey, I got a play pass. I don't remember what really that guess. does. I know it's like the virtual dice game, but um, while that game is pretty cool, um, I don't want to play it again. Although I would get to meet Naisu Daisu again. <laughs> oh, dude, this is actually super close to where, like, the other guy um, went to the sauna. Uh, Hamura, Hamura went to the sauna. Kaito-san. Mind playing the part of Hashki? Guess not. He was round here, yeah? How's this? Wow. You look so... lifeless. You could get a job doing this. <laughs> oh, shut up. Okay, so, six months ago, just past 11 p.m., Hashki and Shono finish drinking. Shono gets in a cab. Hashki stays and argues with a man in a raincoat. After which he was found here, beaten half to death. But Shono got in the cab on Showa Street. Meaning Hashki and his friend went somewhere else just so they could have their little scuffle. It's definitely quieter here. Maybe this is always where the murderer planned to kill Hashki. And what makes you say that? I don't know. Just a hunch. <laughs> Big Mr. Detective. <laughs> anyway, I think we got all we can. Nothing's gonna be left from six months ago. It's true. Yeah, you're right. Where'd you go? Um. So, now that that's done, that means that we're going to the Queen Rouge it's, uh, itself. See what we can see. Oh, is it down here? Oh, there, there it is. 
Queen Rouge. <laughs> so even stuffy, honest scientists come to places like this. Ah. Hashki wasn't exactly honest, or a scientist. I was on Kajihira's payroll, remember? Looks like they're not open yet. Hope someone's in there. Keep up, huh? Alrighty. This is either gonna be very good for us or very bad. Probably a mixture of both. Hello? Is anyone here? We're not open yet, sir. May I ask who you are? I must also point out that this club is members only. Oh, uh, you know a Hushki from the ADDC? He told us to stop by. Hushki, son. Sorry, I've never heard of him. All recommendations must come from a current member. Hmm. I'm not gonna let this guy play dumb with me. You know Hashki san's dead, right? He got beaten to death six months ago, right after leaving your club. Who are you? You're clearly not cops. Hmm. We're private investigators. The Yagami Detective Agency. We want to know what happened that night. You think I'm a goddamn elephant man? I can't remember something from that long ago. We don't need you to tell us. You have girls working here, yeah? If possible, I'd like to talk to the girl who sat with Hashki-san. Get out of my face. <laughs> I have no obligation to help you. That's true. How about this? I'll talk to you once you're a member. If you can get a recommendation, that is. Let me say, though, our rates aren't exactly what I would call cheap. I don't have time to go hunt on a recommendation. Then get out of my face. I can't afford to waste time with this crap. Hold on. You guys are recruiting? And? Think this girl fits the bill? Pretty damn fine, huh? Oh, no! Kaito, no! Hmm. Well, she's not bad, I guess. Not bad? You, my friend, have impossibly high standards. Look, we only go for the hottest chicks. That's how we rake in the big bucks. But there's more to being hot than just looks. You gotta have something extra. Some char, you know? What are we doing? What the hell are you doing, Kaito-san? Mafuyu's gonna be pissed. If you can think of a better way, be my guest. Yeah, this is not helping us. All Mafia's got to do is get hired and find out what Shono and Hoshki were talking about. Don't be an idiot. We can't ask her to do that. Hmm. Huh. In that case, how about her? <laughs> Sorry, son. She wouldn't stand more of a chance than Mafuyu did. Who else do we got? Whoa, whoa, who's that? Now there's a- oh, Are you kidding me? Huh? That photo's not doing her any favors, but polish her up and she'll shine like a diamond. Trust me, boys. See what I mean? Even hoshino has got the hots for her. Well, yeah, but like, I, I like her because she's like creepy and gloomy. You run this club, yeah? That's right. Please bring that friend of yours over here. I want to see her for myself. Hell, I'll hire her on the spot. Um... I think we can manage that. This is a very bad plan! Ugh. <sighs> This is a very bad plan. I'll be waiting. I, I like her for who she is. I really like her. I I'm not kidding you. Um, Saori is badass. She has the whole like um, ah, uh, what is it? Um. Well, looks like we're sending Saori son in there. Uh, it's the quickest way. She has the whole like um, what is her name? Like the girl from like the ring vibe. I can't remember. Like not exactly like that, but she has like the like the I'm gonna fuck you up kind of face. I love it. She's hot. Easier said than done. How are we even going to get her on board? I don't know. I don't know. She likes dessert, right? Just give her something sweet and call it a day. You think she'd really go for that? I bring sweets to the office all the time. Sounds to me like you're going to need the Kaito of desserts. A dessert to crush all other desserts. <laughs> oh, yeah? What'd you have in mind? Do I look like a dessert menu? <laughs> this is all I love this game. It was your idea, jackass. Yeah. Dessert to crush all other desserts, huh? Uh, 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 I thought. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Sukumo, Mafuyu. I'm gonna try it going with the breadwinner. 
Okay. Uh, I'm sure she'd just get suspicious if I did. Uh, it, it, it keeps going before I can do it. Mafuyu! Bet Mafuyu would know what kind of sweet sour son likes. I don't know how I'd even begin to explain it to her, though. Okay, who else? Sukumo is the only person, I guess. I bet Sumo, Sukumo could find something really easily. That's a good idea. Good job, me. How's it going, Yagamishi? What up, bro? There's something I need help finding. God, I love this guy. <laughs> what is it this time? I need the king of desserts. Something that a sweet tooth hound would do anything to get. <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. You think a modern woman's gonna fall for that one? Oh yeah, guys still do it and girls still eat it up. This is true. Really? Dating sounds pretty stupid. It is, bro. But anyway, I'm up for a search. Hit me with some keywords. Hmm. Uh, let's try sweets and limited. Let's give it a shot. Sharing my screen with you now. Uh, hundreds of hits too many. Can't do a lot with results like that. <sighs> so much for limited. Let's try adding another word to narrow it down, Yagamishi. Uh, something the salary song would die for. What words would get me closer? Red bean? Uh, that sort of works, but not well enough. Your girl especially into red beans? Nah, she's not too picky. Uh, how about we try something else then? Matcha? I don't know what matcha is. Barely made a dent. Just the whole country's dying for matcha. It's the only damn flavor anyone makes. What? Well, looks like that's out of the question. Let's uh, try something else. Open? Yeah, that one brought it down a lot. <laughs> oh, smart, smart. I've never thought to go by the shop and not the snack. I mean, she can't have had a dessert from a store that just opened. <laughs> That's my Yagamishi. Should be easy to keep going from here. Yeah, let's toss Kamurocho into the mix. That did it. Mm, what do we have here? Famous Kyoto sweet shop Takamitsu's Kamurocho branch now open on Shichifuku Street. Oh, I know where that Perfect. is. I'll head over there now. You know those are limited quantity, right? I don't know if you can still get them this time of day. Guess I should get moving then. <laughs> I don't know who you're going through all this trouble for, but she's a lucky girl. Good luck, Yagamishi. Gotta run, Sukumo. Thanks again. <laughs> I'll be rooting for you. I love Sukumo. He is a bro. He is a super bro. Okay, I thought so. Uh, sorry, bro. Sorry. There's another case file. What's this one? I don't know. We don't have time for that. We're on the hunt for sweets. So, uh, what's going on here? Look, pal. I don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you got to follow the rules. I, I told you, I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents. This is about knowing your place. Uh, you don't mean uh, uh, protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. Well... In the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. It, uh, 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 well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! I know. You better beat it before this gets ugly. Oh. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? We'll think again. Come on, let's wreck this shithead. Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here. Um. I don't know why you thought this would be a good idea, sir. That obviously did not work out for you. Sorry about your flowers, bro. There we go. That was easier. Done. Mochi, please. Dude. What the shit? <laughs> Leave now and I won't call the cops. 
Now go. Go. Damn it. Be gone with you. Hey, oh, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? That was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Ah, oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, uh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I, I insist. Oh! Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. I'd take it. Yay! Oh my god. Well, I, I should be going. Thank you again, sir. Thank you! Finally found the perfect gift for salary san Just gotta get to Genda's now. Alrighty! Time to bribe Gloomy Girl so she can become Glamour Girl. Never again. Future Brandon, you need to cut that. Definitely cut that out. God damn it, Future Brandon! Oh. Mm -hmm. I am here. Genda. Genda Sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to Sari-san real quick? This comes first. We've got business. What's huh? up? Take a seat. Oh, am I being arrested? I think I might be being arrested. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Told you what? Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off. But you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. Sure, I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone, too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I gonna do if I lose you and Hoshino-kun, too? Oh, I get it. Something came to me when I was in bed, thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? No, Genda, no! That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> Not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Oh. Every single person in Kamurocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. I love this actor. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. No, don't do that! Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshino-kun is at your disposal. Oh! I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. <clears throat> We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. Yeah! And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the I word. I love the voice actor. He's Thank amazing. I don't, I don't know who he is, One but he does amazing. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. Oh, no. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation... This is not gonna end well! Uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Sari-san. Sauri kun Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way... Ah! Hmm, there's something I need to ask you. 
Absolutely not. Ah! Uh, Come on, sorry, son. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? You did! Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. <laughs> but what that club owner sees in you is beyond me. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, asshole! Be fine, sorry, she is beautiful! to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. Don't call it that! No. Maybe this is a lost cause. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? There you go! Fuck y'all! What do you see when you look at Saori san huh? No, it's not that. She's just clearly not into the idea. Why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. Yeah! If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Yeah! Isn't that right, Saori san? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Oh, Wait, yes! <laughs> I'll do it. I'll be Kamarocho's number one hostess. Hell to the That's yeah! What I'm talking about. Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san, and she'll need a haircut and makeup too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm. No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress. Don't worry. There's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yes. Yeah. Then stop complaining. Yeah! Being the best will just happen naturally. I love her! Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. I love I her so anywhere. much! Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah. But I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. Knowing sorry, son. How could it not? I love this guy! He and I are on the same wavelength, man! Dude, I'm not kidding you. I love Saori. I always thought that she was, like, adorable. Like, in that really terrifying way. And, like, I don't... Uh, and I literally mean that she has that fierce, fierce, like, you know, gaze and that absolutely, like... Yeah, give me son. Okay. The go-to place for Saori-san's dress is Lamar. I know that. On show I know that one. That's where all the hostesses in Kamurocho buy their clothes. Got it. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Saori-san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. Yes, but he's too embarrassed to, and I understand why. Because, um... He's, he's obviously got a huge thing for her, and I see why. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. I wonder if she would actually help me fight in combat. I don't know. Part of me really hopes that... We're gonna see... We're, we're getting into a fight. Guys, we're getting into a fight. I don't know where or when, but we're getting into a fight. And we're seeing if she's gonna kick ass and take names with me. All I know is that I always thought Saori san was, like, you know... But here's the thing is that I loved her attitude. I thought she was a great character. And then people start dissing her, and I'm like, fuck you, people. She is beautiful. She don't need no extreme makeover. What makes her beautiful is the way she is right now. She got, like, that fierce, determined look. Like that, like, like you don't want to fuck with her kind of look. Oh, here we go. Oh, nope. Looks like she's staying out of the fight. That's fine. Dude, I just got stabbed in the anus. And, like, nothing happened to me. I didn't even flinch. What happened? Oh, well, um... Like, yeah, like a motorcycle went flying out of nowhere. Where is he? He's, he's out. There we go. What a waste. Indeed. Come, Saori-san! 
We go to make you even more beautiful than before, as though such a thing is possible! Hello, sir, who made me a fantastic suit? Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. Oh my god, his voice is smooth as butter. I was doing his voice before because that's because I don't because he didn't have an English voice. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa, okay, there are so many. Why is it making me choose? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I am a... That's very nice, though. I was about to say I have no clue. Like, that just doesn't feel right. That That's closer, but, like, I like that. I like, like it over the shoulder and everything. Oh, yes. That is her color. That is her color. Uh, no, I wouldn't go. Oh, let's not go with that. She wears glasses, so we are not taking those away from her. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why do you continue to haunt me? I swear to God, this will make sense because, um... Not too long after I post this, I'm going to be posting videos of uh, a friend of mine and I. Uh, we, we played through all of uh, Yakuza 0 together. And dear God, those earrings make an appearance in our video. Oh, we're going with those. We have to. We have to now. Ooh. Oh, that's that's nice. I like that. Uh, uh, definitely give her some perfume. Oh, an arm bracelet? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Let's... Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay. A watch? Uh, she's already got the arm bracelet. We don't need to overdo it. But a ring, though. Just something small but nice. Yeah, I like that. Nails? Uh, let's... I think just uh, simple is best. Simple is best. Uh, done! Oh my god, do not tell me there is... Do not tell me that there is a mini-game associated with the Cabaret Club as well. Because I will play the shit out of it. I will force you to watch and I will play the shit out of it! How's it going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. No sh Sorry, son. You've known Mafuyu since you were a kid, right? Yes. We were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right. I remember now. Mafuyu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafuyu was always there to protect me. Oh. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. Wow. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. I would agree. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. God, she's going to be a great hostess. Speaking of which, Mafia looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafia, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes, they ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafia's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafia was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. 
In fact, that may have been Mafu's first love. Oh, huh? wow. The prosecutor? He's Mafu's boss now. Mori Tassan. Huh? Oh! That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. I don't think she necessarily is. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. Oh. So, I wanted Mafu to meet someone better. That's why I invited oh. you. Oh! Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Um. Nah, I'm fine. Nah, it's fine. Mafia is basically a little sister to me. What? No! I don't think of her like that. I mean, we were raised in a totally different. Sorry, I get it. You don't have to. Keep no! <laughs> if you say so. By the way, um, I'm done changing. I am very angry. I am very angry. I did not want it to go that way. I did not know that that choice would do that. Fuck me. Is there a... Damn it. I haven't saved in forever and now I can't fix that. Damn it. I didn't understand the question. Oh boy. I'm angry. I'm angry with myself because I fucked that up and I can't think of a way to fix it. Unless the game has autosave, which I don't know if it does. Guys, I'm very sorry. I'm going to see if there's an autosave. If I end up having to redo all of what I did a moment ago off camera to get back to this point to change that answer, I will, but give me just a moment. I was not happy with that answer. A few moments later. Ladies and gentlemen, the yeah, game has autosaves. Ah, oh, I, I can fix it. I can fix what I said. Okay, I have saved outside of the place. So in case I fuck up the question again, we can fix it. Okay, so I... Uh, I, I said, I said, does it bother you? I was like, no, I'm fine and everything, but like, I like you more now. I, I, I'm gonna try this to see what he says. Not sure I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm glad I told you then. <laughs> I'm kidding. Seriously though, meeting you helped Mafia realize the difference between love and admiration. Oh. <laughs> she thought your bad boy act was cute, by the way. Bad boy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh. Not bad. You think? God. Oh, hold on. Let me get a picture. Huh? Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry. Hoshinokun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. I wonder. And if, I wonder if he. I wonder if she has a thing for him too. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami san. Sorry, san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after. She all. can hear you, bro. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far either. Got it. Thanks. Dude. This is awesome. Oh, but unfortunately, we are at time for this episode. I know, I know. We're so close and yet so far, but that's what we're going to start next time. I definitely like that answer better. I don't like... I didn't like that he said, like... I, I think... I don't know. This is a kind of a weird thing. I think that he meant, like... like I think that she was trying to say, like... Oh, yeah, I'm going to have trouble sleeping tonight because, you know, thinking about how Mafuyu was in love with, like, you know, the older guy and everything. Like, I don't like the whole, oh, I see her as a little sister sort of thing. No, I, d I am not going with that. Anyway, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. I am saving now because now I've, I've done it. I've fixed it. Thank God for autosaves. <laughs> I might make that the title of this episode. I'm not sure. But either way, next time we are going to get Saori all dressed up for the club and see if that can lead us to anything. So thanks again, and until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful view. Oh my god, it's the same dress as in the window. Holy shit, I didn't even notice that.